Pressure has been growing for Governor Newsom to do something to try to halt the trend of property insurers leaving our state. Yeah, the companies, they cite the wildfire risk as well as soaring construction costs for the withdrawal. Well, feeling that political pressure, the governor is now proposing a solution. His legislation would streamline the approval process for insurance providers to raise rates and make other policy adjustments. Now, it builds on the insurance commissioner's plan to address the problems in the insurance market, but those changes are not expected to take effect until the end of the year, prompting the governor's action. He says we've got to do more now. All right, for more on what this plan could do, we're joined by our insurance expert, Carl Sussman. Carl, it's good to have you on here. L let's talk about what the governor is proposing. In essence, streamlining the review process for insurance rate increases in California. W how much of a difference could this make in kind of stabilizing the insurance market? A and is there any part of what he's proposing that will actually compel insurers to start writing policies again? Yes, there's a lot. There's a lot in here, and what's interesting, Alex, is that there, the, the trailer bill, which is what it's called, is what uh, Governor Newsom is putting together. It's going to be tacked on to the budget for California, which is, I believe, has to be done by I think June the 15th. What this is going to do is it's actually going to expedite part of the insurance commissioner's sustainable insurance strategy, which is expediting how insurance carriers can do business in California. So we're, we're expediting something that's going to be expediting the way business is done. Mm -hmm. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow the insurance carriers to put in changes to policies and be able to start writing again because they're going to be able to be more nimble and have cho choices and options for how they underwrite different homes. Okay, so how is the review timeline that's being proposed now different from what's in place currently? Heather, it's a great question because everyone's asking this and ironically, it is the law right now, it just simply hasn't been followed. Under these new guidelines, under the trailer bill and under the sustainable insurance strategy, what will happen is when an insurance carrier files for any type of product or rate change, there's a 60-day window. That's actually in Proposition 103. It's just never been enforced. And typically now, after 60 days, the carriers have to wait and the Department of Insurance goes back and forth. With these new guidelines, there's going to be the same 60-day window. The Department of Insurance can then request a 30-day extension and then one more 30-day extension. And that's all the time they have to get back to the carrier and say yes, no, or give them some type of alternative. All right. So are we giving up anything, though, as, yeah. we, as we streamline this review process? There are consumer advocacy groups that are concerned that under the governor's proposal, they'll be cut out of the review process. Would that be the case? Unfortunately, it's just not true. It specifically states in the in the trailer bill, it reaffirms Proposition 103. It gives a very specific timeline, which already exists in Proposition 103, for people to be to intervene in any type of rate review process. The percentages are the same. Everything is the same as far as how people would intervene in the event of a request to try and change a rate. It just has to be done faster. Okay, so you don't believe that it will, in fact, lead to more runaway rates? It's not what I believe, it's just not in the bill. I mean, like I said, the law has is not changing. The only difference is right now, if you go by the letter of Proposition 103, it's supposed to be done in 60 days, 90 days, maybe not what's turned into several years on occasions for certain uh, types of policies they're looking for changes. Now they're going to actually enforce that law, hopefully, and it's going to be 60 days with 30 day extensions twice maximum, and the department has to respond. Remember, the department doesn't have to approve it, they just have to respond. Right, just moving the process along. Okay, so Governor Newsom calls this a, essentially a short-term solution, sort of a stopgap measure. W where are we, though, with developing a long-term strategy to address the insurance crisis here in California? Well, the insurance commissioner has the sustainable insurance strategy, which is multi-prong and, and lots of changes to 30-year-old to legislation to try and update it for for today's world. And that's going to be done. It's being done in stages and rolled out. There's been multiple hearings already that have gone on. And that the deadline for that is supposed to be the end of this year. Governor Newsom said at the budget conference, actually, he was quite aggressive about it. He says, we cannot wait that long. We need to get some of these parts of this new of these new regulations done right now. So this one trailer bill is basically expediting the first part of all of these new regulations to reopen the California marketplace to the insurance carriers and to the consumers that are looking to purchase coverage. Okay, Carl, I hear what you're saying about it. It's already on the books. We've, we're already trying to address the issue, but make no mistake about it. This is also a political play. Uh, Governor Newsom doing this trailer bill, it's not the same as putting a bill through the legislative process and really having all of that back and forth debate. 
No, you're absolutely right. In, in, a, in a perfect world, we would go through this and we would take a much longer look at everything. But unfortunately, because this issue has been neglected for so long, literally years, we've been sounding the bell that there's a problem, there's a problem. And now all of a sudden we've fallen over the cliff. Now everybody is scrambling and you're absolutely right. This would ideally not be the way that legislations like this and regulations to laws would be changed. Fortunately, again, we're leaving all the control with the Department of Insurance. So as long as they keep doing what they need to do, then we shouldn't we shouldn't expect there to be any problems. Okay. All right. Appreciate your perspective mm -hmm. on all of this, helping us understand it just a little bit better. Carl Sussman, insurance expert. Good to see you. Thank you.